Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video we're going to do Draymond and Shaq into a heated debate on Prime Lakers versus Warriors. This is a very common debate. Shaq's best teams versus Draymond's best teams and I'm curious what they have to say. They both have four championships. They both very biased. Let's see who obviously they're going to say my team's better, my team's better, but let's see why they say that. Also it is my birthday today so make sure to give this video a like. All right let's hop right into this video. Who wins and the bonus question who guarding me? Please don't say Andrew Bogut. So, here's the thing. And you can be honest, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I don't think any one player on our team could have guarded you. Um, I like I to hear that, I like to hear that. There were defensive schemes that we could have thrown at you to, to affect you. One is not letting you get the ball. So we gonna, gonna guard you with a guy in he front said of you. He take off his glasses. He's the like, guy behind you. <laughs> They did that. Yeah, yeah they, they, I wasn't on the court though. Uh, you know, Portland did that. Defense, defensive schemes Great like mind. Portland did that. Like so, that. I, I, when I listen, I Portland did that. Sacramento did that. I watched. I wasn't on the floor. I'm making defensive game plans. All right. So what you gonna do? Stand behind me? No, I'm I, I'm standing in front. Like, ain't, ain't no ball getting to you. However, what you mean the ball ain't getting to? Them? They, they just gonna throw it over your head? I'm not. I'm not six feet. But you ain't seven, seven feet. I got seven, four, <laughs> seven, three wingspan. And I got nine, four wingspan. Yeah, but you still got to get the ball. You can't get the ball through me. No, it's going to go over you, Draymond. Andrew Bogus behind. Stop I'm it. I'm in the front. Stop it. To leave somebody like this. over there to shoot because oh you gosh. couldn't shoot during that time. Huh? I got Bob. Yeah, I got Bob, B. Shaw. I got Rick. Bob, Bob ain't just about to stand out there launching. Y'all stand out there launching. Nobody was just launching threes then, Shaq. Y'all. I don't care how old. Ah, you, right. you, you, you're right about that. But you however, but however, Bogey going to be in foul trouble. You're not getting the ball, Shaq. But when I'm running down the court, he's going to try to muscle me with his weak. He's going to get one foul, he's going to get two foul. Now, who your backup center? Me. Draymond, stop. <laughs> me. Draymond. Shaq, I don't think I could have guarded you. I'm not yeah, saying I'm, that. But I'm, I'm, I'm not just, saying that. I'm, however, you would have had to bring your big out of that drop. You, you do what, realize they roll? created, they created, which nobody does. Pick and roll was, was they can't. They did get Shaq in pick and rolls. They used to call it Shaq in the screen, <laughs> Shaq the screen, where you just stay back in the paint. Yeah, you got a right. Shaq, man. If you stay back there, I'm a nail whoever guarding Steph. I'm a nail whoever guard Clay, and we gonna dot your eye every play. Okay, but you know what's gonna happen after that? I'm gonna tell D Fish get up on him, let him drive, and I'm gonna lay his little. D Fish can't make him drive. I'm going to whack no, him with these screens. You ever no. see me set screens? The All moving the screens? All it takes is one he, play to get up. He said, you ever see me set them moving screens? I know, Draymond. I know. The moving screens, if they don't call them, then you got an advantage. And when he drive, I'm laying this out. And then, hey, then we got to fight. All right, what you got to fight, then? And guess what? You getting thrown out the game and me getting thrown out the game, who's that going to hurt worse? Your right. team. So I guess y'all lose. So I guess we're not going to fight, then. So. <laughs> Let's rewind the tape. <laughs> Who's your backup center? Our backup center was uh it depends on which year, but oh, over forget, the years, forget David all that. West is Who wins? JaVel McGee. Who? <laughs> he, Who did wins? he did that on purpose. He did that on purpose. We win the series, sure. Draymond, stop it. For sure. L listen, I, I love you and I love your confidence, but I ain't no way. How we lose? How do we lose? Cause me. Simple enough. And the Copster. And Rest Big Shot Bob. And B we, Shot. We trade in two. You get your dunks. We trade in twos for threes. Yeah, but y'all ain't going to hit threes all the time. We're going to hit enough of them. Yeah, but not not all the time. You just got to hit the three at 37%. Who guarding Kobe? Clay. That's a good face right there. You said, um, this is an interesting series. Shaq would dominate the paint. But he can't shoot free throws. I don't know if they would do the hacker shack. I maybe mean, if they do, then that definitely adjusts something. But I mean, that's a that's a great point. But like they played, if you say the two thousands, they playing two thousands ball versus twenty tens ball. I'm pretty sure the Warriors would win just for the fact that like the Lakers wouldn't get up enough threes. If you adjust it to the rules for each team, so if the twenty tens Warriors went to the two thousands and they shot and played basketball like they played. I think the 2000s Lakers have a humongous advantage. And then if the 2000s Lakers come to the 2010s and they play basketball like that, the Warriors would still have advantage with the shooting, but at the Lakers would be shooting more threes. So, you know, I don't know. That's an interesting. Um, 
But if it was like the 2000s Lakers playing they ball and the 2010s Warriors playing they ball and they style, then yes, the 2010s Warriors would win. We'll continue this conversation. You can look at you can look at Clay we'll now and say oh, he's not the Clay he was then. We'll continue this conversation Clay. on your podcast. No, For sure. Ain't nobody guarding him. Ain't nobody guarding me. And ain't nobody guarding Steph. And ain't nobody guarding Clay. I I understand that, but y'all not beating us. Yeah, I think no. we are probably no. in five, no. maybe six. He's like, you just speak of me. Six what? Games. Max. Six years when I'm six years when I'm forty. Max six games. Tremont. Max six game. Don't you know Jack, Sacramento listen, said that? You know, Portland you, said that? You know where I grew up at, right? I, I, I know I who you are. I grew up in Saginaw, Michigan, in the state of Michigan, which is home of the Detroit Pistons. He's like, you bring back your memories. Y'all the Pistons in 04. And by the way, them my big bros. I love them. I respect them. You bring that memories. But bad like, memories. they scored 70 points a game. We would have mopped them. You would have mopped them too? They scored 70 points. Let me see. One of y'all games was like 70 to 67 yeah, final. I didn't. I didn't, That's insane. I didn't get the ball like I was supposed to. Averaging 17 finals. points a quarter, Shaq. Yeah, but that was then. As okay, yeah, so, 17 points that's a, that's a quarter. That's so, you lose by 40. All right, so hold on. Uh, I forgot to add this in question. Which style are we playing? The new style yeah. or the old style? Yeah, that's definitely important. That's the thing. If we play the old style, we lose. Yeah. All right, and if, if we, we play the new style. No, we win. No chance. Nah. Bro, I was the first big to run the court. You yeah, think but I ain't gonna be running? Fella, by the time you was with the Lakers, you weren't moving like that no I more. I was. My, nah, I mean, not not like not. Bro, my first champion, the, the third one, I was Big Shaq. <laughs> first the one, first I was skinny. one for sure. No, first yeah, one I was first skinny one, Shaq. Right. The second sick. one was medium Shaq. Third one was fat Shaq. <laughs> and the fourth one was fat Albert Shaq. So, so when you so when you was skinny Shaq. Oh, I was coming up out of that that drop. You was gonna come up to the three point line. If I had to, every now and then. You got your big split. <laughs> I do this to all NBA players. First, they talk about Bron and Jordan, the best, the GOATs. Who's the GOAT? And I always ask people, how come my guy's not in that conversation? Do you okay. think my guy Kobe. deserves to be in that conversation? Kobe? Yes. For sure. 100%. Um, so how come he's not all the time? Here's why I think he's not. Because, Tell number me. one, he played with you, and people hold that against him. Yeah. Uh, number two, I think Kobe kind of fell in a weird time. And what I mean by that is Mike left the league. When Mike left the league, Y'all start. Y'all were dominate, like. And then you left the Lakers. When you left the Lakers, they had a few rough years. Yeah, wasn't great. Smush Parker. Like it just. It, it Why wasn't, he, gets, he gets so many straight? They didn't like, have just, great roster. Rudy he, Tom Jonovich, like he just existed. Th- that was. That was an epic fail. Like, it just, it wasn't great. Why so much I, the, While it wasn't going great. Being a Laker must be an experience. There was a young guy in Cleveland starting to make his hay. And so in the years where Cole could have been dominating, which he was from a number standpoint, but they weren't winning nothing. In those years, Brian was making his hay and starting to make his name, and is he the best player? And I think the amount of time that it was a consensus that Kobe was the number one in the league, like the top guy, yeah. I don't think it was long enough for everybody to say how, like to put him in that conversation because Bron then came and put his name in the conversation. And yeah. so from that okay. point on, it's tug of war. Like Christmas Day games between <clears throat> those two guys, it's tug of war. And so I don't think he accumulated enough people in saying that he dominated the way Mike dominated in the length, length of time that Mike dominated. Bron, the length of time that he's dominated. I yep. don't think Kobe dominated himself okay. for that length of time. And I think that's why people don't put him in the conversation. I mean, I think it's a subjective conversation. For sure. I, I, I would just like to hear his name in, in, in the conversation. Like, right, right. They just kind of overlook him and yeah. just say, and hey, listen, Mike. I, th- I think Kobe is in the conversation 
Um, Kobe, if you're a Kobe fan, you have an argument. I don't know if it's the best argument, but you have an argument. And a big thing is his competition. I feel like like LeBron's competition when he hits the finals is hard, but when the East has been very weak. Um, and Michael Jordan's competition in the finals is relatively hard, not as hard as LeBron's, but I don't think he had as hard roads. Like His roads weren't like, dang, this is a tough road. Kobe, he had to face some good, t- so a lot of 50 win teams. He had to face a lot of good basketball teams. So, you know. For sure. I, I, I would just like to hear his name in, in, in the conversation. Like, right, right. They just kind of overlook him and yeah. just say, and hey, listen, Mike, Brian, Kobe, he can go either way. But I, I just try to fight for him and just at least, at least when you talk about the GOATs, put his name. No, and I think he should be. I, I personally think he should be. But the things that we think and the way we see these things, most people can't see them through this lens, right? So I have no doubt in my mind that he should be. I mean, you look at the numbers, you look at the demeanor, you look at the impact that he had on the game. Yeah. Still running around talking about Mamba mentality. You know, what are you talking about? Like, you know, goddamn Mamba mentality. Like, shut up. I hit a shot. Mamba mentality. Shut up. Like, you know, goddamn Mamba mentality. I thought I was the only one that oh, felt that like, way. Give me a break. Oh, Mamba mentality. Shut up. Like, yeah. Ain't even a thing for real. That's Kobe. Like, yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, that's you know, him. so I think he sold when that, you look at all those things, ideology. the impact that he had on the game, if we run around Kobe, like, uh, that's the you impact. know, like, that's big the impact time. that he had. You don't have that impact if you're not. One of the greats, the greatest ever. So there's a lot of guys we've seen come through, score, do this, do. But Kobe, man, I think he's definitely in the conversation. But I do think that's the reason why most people don't put him there. Yeah, that's as iconic as it comes. Um, yeah, but, hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Like I said, today is my 26th birthday. So if you want to give me a birthday present, hit that like button. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the love. We're the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're so close. Officially became a YouTube partner. So I want to thank you guys for that as well. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.